What inspired Krista Vernoff to write DeLuca's departure? How did Giacomo Giannotti feel about his character's sudden death? And why isn't this really the end for DeLuca? Hi, I'm Janet. You're watching Asa. Someone get the paddles, because my heart just stopped. Can we press pause on this season? After what felt like the longest three-month mid-season hiatus in television history, Grey's Anatomy has finally returned. And it seems that the writers spent the entire time figuring out how to cause us the most emotional distress, because the Grim Reaper has struck again. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew DeLuca is dead. Giacomo Giannotti's six-season tenure on Grey's Anatomy started pretty much right after he finished studying, although he'd known he wanted to become an actor since he was 10, when he was cast as a street kid in an Italian film called La Bomba. After auditioning for a Grey's episode in 2014, when he was just 24 years old, Giacomo decided that in order for his career to really take off, he needed to be in L.A. Surprisingly, just a few hours into his move from Toronto to California, his manager called with some amazing news. He was shortlisted to appear on Grey's, along with only one other actor, and Shonda Rhimes wanted to meet him. And obviously, he impressed the Grey's creator. Not only did he land the role of Andrew DeLuca, but within eight months, he'd been promoted to a series regular. When that happened, Giacomo was thrilled, elaborating, it was sort of like a confirmation of all the choices I've made, everything in the universe telling me that I'm exactly exactly where I need to be. When DeLuca first appeared at Grey Sloan Memorial, Giacomo had no idea that he'd later become the love interest for the series lead. In fact, when Hello! magazine asked him if he could see himself as a Grey's heartthrob back in 2016, he dismissed the idea. The actor elaborated, that's just not my job. My job is to go on and, you know, prepare my lines and connect with people. But if they want to call me a heartthrob, that's fine. And though the romance wasn't initially planned, we have to admit that the love between Meredith and DeLuca not only made for epic television, but it was vital to DeLuca's character arc. As Giacomo explained, playing DeLuca was about more than just acting, because the Grey storylines often have a global impact. For Giacomo, this meant a realistic portrayal of mental illness. He admitted, I'm going to miss being a small part of how many people's lives are changed because of the show. It was an honor to interpret a character who was struggling with those battles. It made people feel seen, and that meant the world to me. So, when it came time to write DeLuca's exit from the show, the showrunners had a lot of pressure. Not only did the departure need to be emotional, but it had to work within the context of DeLuca's struggles in a positive light. And that's no easy feat. Good exits write themselves. With everything that's happened over the last season of Grey's Anatomy, you could be forgiven for thinking the writers are actually magicians. I mean, they're bringing people back from the dead after all. Hello, McDreamy on a beach. But they really pulled out all the stops for DeLuca's farewell. During an epic crossover with Station 19, we're taken on an emotional roller coaster as Andrew gets stabbed trying to track down child traffickers. After several tense moments, DeLuca emerges from surgery, and just as we're about to give a collective sigh of relief, the unthinkable happened. He died, and we were not ready. But unlike us, Giacomo was actually well prepared for his character's send-off. In fact, he knew pretty early in the season what fate awaited him and had to keep it under wraps until the table read, explaining that it felt like he had a dirty secret. And even then, he admitted that his colleagues were shocked, explaining, at that time in the script, to protect the integrity of the storyline, it didn't say whether he died or not. So everyone was on the edge of their seats, wanting the answer. And we know you want some answers too. So allow us to help. Showrunner Krista Vernoff has been pretty open about how her idea for DeLuca's demise came about. After telling Deadline that when the previous season of Grey's wrapped, there were no plans for DeLuca to leave, Krista admitted that the idea came as a sudden inspiration. She explained, Honestly, the story told itself to me. I went for a walk on the beach to come up with my pitches and these episodes came in like a vision. It was as shocking to me as it was to you. When Krista approached Giacomo about her idea, he panicked, not because he'd be losing his job, but because he wanted a fitting ending for his character. He explained, we had just finished telling a very important mental health storyline with DeLuca's bipolar disorder. I was worried that maybe there were some thoughts of taking his life, which would be a huge disservice to the mental health community and to DeLuca. However, Krista totally agreed with this sentiment and wanted DeLuca to have an impactful death. The actor considered Krista's pitch an opportunity to tell a really beautiful story that could help a lot of people in having DeLuca die to save others. He explained, I thought it was a beautiful way for the character to exit as a hero, and I'm 
happy that the writers did such a great job with telling the story. I think it's going to do justice to a lot of people and help a lot of people. And just because he was on board with the idea doesn't mean his departure was any easier. While the actor has been showered with love and positivity since his final episode aired, he admitted that it's been emotional and overwhelming. It's also not the last time we'll see him. Consolation prize or silver lining? Giacomo may have filmed his last gray scene covered in fake blood on an OR table, but he's not done with the show. In fact, he returned to the set for his directorial debut. The actor has always been keen to try his hand at directing, and thanks to Grace, he got the chance. And fans are wondering if the directorial spot was a consolation prize to soften the blow of losing his job. Giacomo has set the record straight. After telling executive producer Debbie Allen that he wanted to try directing an episode four years ago, Giacomo was offered the chance last year. He explained, All of this wasn't planned this way. I was offered this job to direct last year, long before we knew I was leaving the show. And so, my last moments on set as an actor, there wasn't this big weeping sadness because every person on set knew I was sure to be returning to direct. Apart from giving him a chance to say proper goodbyes, Giacomo's hoping that this stint in the director chair is the first of many, as it's a direction in which he's always wanted to take his career. The actor actually admitted that directing was wonderful, explaining, I had front row seats to the best film school you could ever go to. Nevertheless, he's a little sad not to be playing DeLuca anymore. In an Instagram post after his final scene as DeLuca, Giacomo expressed his love for DeLuca and the show, adding, telling his story was and will be one of the great honors of my life. Even Alan Pompeo took to social media to spread the love in a sweet Instagram post, which included a promise for future wine and pasta dates. Where to from here? After DeLuca's appearance at the beach and disappearance from our lives, Krista Vernoff confirmed that DeLuca will not return to the beach this season. However, she also added that we haven't seen the last of him. She elaborated, I thought him walking away with his mom was the most powerful closure for that character, but you will see him again, just not on the beach. And that's not the only bombshell she dropped. The showrunner admitted that the season, which will have 17 episodes, will feature another surprise. After confirming that we'll see more characters appear on the beach later this season, including someone we haven't seen yet this season, she refused to give away any more details. She concluded, That beach is a ray of light, and the surprises of who you see are the rays of light. And I don't want to take that away. But what does it all mean for DeLuca? How will we see him again? Thankfully, we have an answer for that too. Well, kind of. As Krista tweeted, we'll see him again as an actor and a director. Giacomo was equally cryptic about his character's possible reappearance. The only question now is, when? As for his career outside of Grey's, the actor has a few surprises up his sleeve, but he's not giving us any details. All he'll admit is, I'm seeking lots of opportunities in Italy and Canada as a director and actor and have a few things coming on the horizon. So watch this space. By the way, did you enjoy Derek's return to Grace? We have a video about why he left the show and came back. So check it out. And until next time, stay awesome.